Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Today I want to talk about some cool uh, new batteries that we just got in stock and I uh, wanted to bring them to your attention. Perhaps they need to be living in your garage instead of my warehouse. So anyways, without further ado, let's go, uh, let's go look at these batteries. Okay, so first up, we've got a 72 volt, nine amp hour battery pack. And this one comes with the bag with straps. You mount it hmm, probably underneath your top tube, I would guess. Um, I think this one weighs in about seven pounds. I forgot how much I weighed it at. Comes with XT90 disconnectors and a three pin mini XLR charging port. This can put out 100 amps continuous. Uh, as you know, the CYC X1 Pro Gen 4 can pull 80 amps. So this is plenty of headrooms left. Um, these have the Molly Cell 45B cells in them. So yeah, these are super high performance cells. Pairs excellent with the X1 Pro. Uh, might even do well with like a lower powered motorcycle conversion. If you're not trying to pull more than 100 amps, this could be a great, if you want something super lightweight that could still put out, what is that, about 10 horsepower? Right here, <laughs> this is a great fit. Okay, up next we've got a behemoth of a battery. This one weighs in at about 42 pounds, I believe. Oh, this one's hard, it really is heavy. Um, this one's a 72 volt. 50 amp hour motorcycle pack. You can see it's got an LCD, LCD screen there, show you a battery percentage. This one has SB175, uh, Anderson 175 disconnects on it, which are rated for up to 175 amps. Has XT60 charging ports. This battery uses 50S cells and can output 150 amps continuous, which is about you know 15 horsepower, somewhere around there. This one is replacing our outgoing 40 amp hour battery pack that had the same metal case with the carrying handle. This makes it a lot easier to transport and it's a nice hard metal case. It's got the nice handle to transport it and it's got a secure metal casing to keep everything safe and a little bit easier to mount too, in my opinion. Uh, this one replaces our 40T cell, 40 amp hour battery pack. 40Ts are 4,000 milliamp hour. The 50S cells are 5,000 milliamp hour. So using the same amount of cells, you get 25% uh, more capacity, 25% more range. It could easily handle 150 amps output. This thing could probably handle 300 amp output, no problem. But this thing is only limited by the BMS. I am working on getting some even higher power BMSs for battery packs like this and even higher capacities. I'd like to be an alternative to a, a Morge. Uh, a, a Morge, I forget how you pronounce that. I've never actually said it out loud until this moment, so I'm a little embarrassed. But I'd like to be a little, have some uh, US-based alternatives from ordering direct from China. At least you'll have some US support. So I will be looking at getting some more batteries like this, hopefully with a little bit more continuous output. But I think for right now, 150 amps is, that's pretty good. Um, so anyways, look forward to some builds, some build videos from me coming up with, the, with these two batteries. Yeah, can't wait to, to make some videos on these. Uh, and if you guys want to buy from me, check out the link below. I'll put a link in the description to these exact products. So, all right, thanks guys.